Whether it's coughing, sneezing, the sniffles, or the runny nose, someone in your office or your kid's school probably has something. All around us. Every place. Everywhere and in school, and the dramatic change in the temperature really doesn't help. Dr. Health Reporter, Dr. Nine Health I've Reporter. Done yes, Dr. I put in Health. Dr. ahead of time. John That's Torres good. joins I'll us to it. tell us what the heck is going on. I mean, really, what are you seeing? Because I've heard all kinds of things lately. Yeah, I'm seeing, you know, the gamut of everything. We're seeing sinus infections, strep throat, influenza. I'm seeing a lot of flu and then just a common cold. What the issue is right now, these things are just seem to be hanging on or a lot of people are coming saying, you know, I had this for a week or two. It got better, but now it's getting worse yes. again. So it, yes. and I think it has to do with the cold weather. The fact that, you know, one day it's 40, the next day it's minus 43 wind chills. And then this weekend it's going to be in a 50, you know, just this constantly changing weather and it takes a toll on our system and our system, you know, can't fight back as well. So we fairly, those things is it moving. fairly typical for this time of year? You know, it's fairly typical for October through April, May time frame. What's not typical is this late in the year, these things happening. And if you remember, back to November it was very warm and these viruses love cold weather so they usually wait around until the cold weather comes which it does and this time it came in January February time frame and so that's why we're starting to see the peak in the flu that's why we're starting to see everybody with sinus infections and colds and upper respiratory infections because again the cold weather tends to make these things a little worse and and the downside is you know like the kids can't even go out to recess when it's really cold when it gets below certain temperatures so we're all inside we're all hacking and sneezing and everything else around each other. What else can we do to protect ourselves? And, you know, a couple things happen in the winter. You know, number one, we're inside and, and we tend to congregate together. Number two, our noses run. So oh. that stuff comes out of the nose. You know, that's where the virus or the, or the bacteria, if it's a, a strep throat type thing, comes about. But the other thing, you know, we constantly talk about washing our hands and watching what we touch. Well, they found out this year, they did a study and they actually found out that sneezing probably has more to do with the, than touching an object that somebody else touched. A sneeze can actually travel about 20 feet. The droplets go about six to eight feet. So if you're in an office environment with somebody and they sneeze and they don't do the cover up type thing, that virus or bacteria is going everywhere. If you happen to pass through that, you might not even know it. And then all of a sudden you're inhaling that bacteria or virus and there, it Yikes. starts getting in there. A so. viral cloud. A viral Yikes. cloud. Yep. Like I said, it can go up to 20 feet, usually around six to eight feet is the maximum area of, of penetration. Well, so. it seems like there's an awful lot of stuff going on. There's so many people here at Nine News and so many families, uh, moms with kids and, and you know, and poor Adam with dads. it coming back. Right. With it coming Does back. that mean that you might have had something more serious and you didn't know it, you didn't get to the doctor and didn't get the proper treatment then? Or what it means is you had a virus, which is what most people get, and the virus tends to, your, your body's fighting that so the immune system gets beat up a little bit and then all of a sudden another virus moves in or the bacteria moves in um. or that virus ends up making a second trip in your body because it didn't completely get rid of it. And so it's one of those things, I usually tell my patients, you know, 10 days, two weeks is about the time where you probably need to see somebody just to make sure you're okay, especially if you're having, you know, colored mucus, if you're having fevers, if this is causing a lot of pain, that type of thing. But about two weeks is a 10 day, two week time period is about the time to say, you know, let's have somebody look at it just yeah. to make sure that you might need some treatment. Trip to the doctor. Trip, Trip to, to the doctor. See your Dr. John, and you can see Dr. John's <laughs> advice again by going to the health section of 9news.com. Thanks, Doc. Dr. Awesome. Health, I like that. Dr. Health. Dr. Health. Dr. Dr. Health. Dr. Health. <laughs> There's the website. There's where you find him, all right? Thank you, Dr. Health. You bet. <laughs>